Well, I've just been out for my first drive in the Metro and it's got a horrendous clunking noise coming from the underneath as if like the uh, subframe was falling out of it or the exhaust rattling. Fortunately, it's the exhaust. So if we just have a little look at some of the exhaust fittings we've got, we've got this one up here. It's nice. And it's sort of, yeah, I'm not sure what that one's really meant to do. But there's nothing in the middle here, so what's meant to happen, it's meant to have rubbers on that and then the rubber will, but what's all that happens as soon as you accelerate and decelerate, that's what you get. At the back, oh it's got rubber at the back, it's quite novel. So, while we're under here, I thought we'd have a little look around and see what we can find and uh, so being a challenge car it's got these and got an anti-roll bar and these little link arms on it it's got some specs on it which I reckon by the state of them were the original ones from 1982 or whenever it's got a little tiny silencer there towing eye up here not sure maybe I don't know maybe that was for towing it with fortunately it's been coated with plenty of um, anti-rust up here and maybe if you can't find the right clamp just put a different one on it so I'm gonna need to get some rubbers that go that work in two directions so that it won't allow it to go up like that or down like that but I don't think that'll be too much of a problem um no rust show me the rust there is no rust it's had a bit of a battering around here because it's done a little bit of rallying but I don't know really what do you expect from us 45 year old metro um, I don't know if this manifold is a good bad or a different one um, got anti-roll bar on the front with some fairly big big bushes on there all mounted up solidly um, I don't think anything anything too frightening it shows signs that it's had a bit of seam welding along here Maybe it's just been welded along there to protect it. But yes, it's probably been jacked up underneath there and underneath there rather than the proper jacking points. But I think overall it's pretty good. But how many of these haven't had the spare wheel well punched in? So I'm pretty pleased with that. So Let's see if we can sort this exhaust rattle out. Having driven the car uh, today for the first time, I was quite impressed. It felt quite lively. I don't know what the story is with the engine. I was led to believe it is a standard 1275 engine with a Weber carburetor on it. However, it does feel a bit cammy. So I'm wondering if it's maybe a bit more than a 1275. I mean, it pulls um, from very low RPM and it'll pull away in second gear. So that makes you think it's standard, but then it, it feels like it starts to want to really get going at about three and a half thousand RPM upwards. So, I don't know if I'm going to get time. I don't think I'm going to get time to put it on a rolling road before we go anywhere with it. Um, but yeah, it it it. Uh, if anyone does know what the spec of the engine is, I'd be interested to know any previous owners. But it feels quite nice. It, I think it will go all right, and the car's quite light. So yeah, we'll, we'll see how it how it goes. A few more. Just a few little minor things to do before we go out. I want to change the oil in it because I actually, it's, it seems to have got a lot more oil in it than it should have. And I'm thinking that because it's been standing around, it's been stopped and started, stopped and started. 
obviously it's probably got a lot of petrol in with the oil as it's as it's got a Weber on there it might have been going past the rings and filling the sump up so I think changing the oil is not going to do any harm um, but no it's as you'll see it's all been painted black inside now which is a massive improvement to the green so I'm quite pleased with that and I'm looking forward to taking it out soon well it's certainly taken a while but the green has gone it's all gone the roll cage is black everything's black inside all sat in black no more greens so even so when you look at it from the outside you can't really see it like that can you it's all black no green handbrake anymore black up there as well I think that's quite an improvement. That was uh, six aerosol tins and quite a lot of masking and a lot of fiddling around. Trying to get these bits around here properly black rather than green, but I've done most of it. So we've got trim panels on it as well. I think this is how it's going to be for brands next week or if you're watching it after the 8th of November this is how it was when it went to brands I've tidied up the dash a bit changed the clock in there moved the rev counter sorted the fuses out it's a bit of bad news though the seat split a bit more still oh, well. Couldn't be helped, I suppose. But there she is, all in black. Big improvement.